All the tutorials you'll ever need, brought to you in part by... Wajo789 What's up guys, this is Wacho789 here, bringing you another video for more selection today. This time I have another strategy guide. Um, I actually have two strategy guides coming out, uh, this one and then another one, but this one will be um, about possibly one of my favorite uh, rating strategies in the game for team matches. So definitely a new team match strategy. Um, and I'm also going to be going over how to wall in this game because um, not only have I been rating a lot, but I've also noticed other players have been rating a lot more. So if you haven't caught on to the, uh, the bandwagon yet, uh, this is definitely a common strategy. Um, but essentially we're going to be using uh, a new faction that I haven't really used in a while, um, East Asia, to go and do some deadly raiding to our opponents. Um, I've been having a lot of success with it and also having a lot of frustration against it. Uh, but walling and setting up, building smart with your base, I haven't really ever done that. And in a lot of my videos, they usually just don't bother. Um, but we'll take it seriously this game, so I'm looking forward to showcasing that. Um, and then really quickly, I want to go over um, kind of something that's been going on lately. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and I'm unfortunately um, a problem that it, I probably should have been more proactive about but uh, uh, there essentially is there, there are more uh, I don't know how many people but um, people are going around and impersonating my username as watcher789 and going in game and saying um, a lot of terrible uh, vulgar things uh, I don't really want to get too many into details but these are bad people and they're impersonating me to try to tarnish uh, my username uh, please know that I I don't do that um, I don't say bad things. I am a very positive person, so that's not me um, if you see someone saying that badly. But unfortunately, I do have to react to such a problem um, just because War Selection is a free game and Steam, uh, you can change your Steam username to whatever you want as many times as you want. Um, so obviously that anyone can go around and impersonate me. So I'm going to go ahead and make this announcement known and I'll make it continuing uh, in future videos. But I will no longer be using the Watch of 789 username to play play this game um, just because it's it's too much of a, of a, of a hassle so um, if you see watch of 789 in your games that is not me um, unfortunately there just will not be a way I know in the past for a couple of you if you uh, you may have seen me in a, and it was actually me but also I didn't know if other people had been personating me for how long but um, there were games where I would be playing as watch of 789 and I would say hey you know it's me um, and some people were even skeptical, like, oh, is that really you? I don't know. Um, but now, like, as we can see here, I'm going to be playing as Genghis Khan today in this video. It'll change every video. Um, but I thought that Genghis Khan was would be a befitting uh, username as I go for this East Asia uh, sort of rush guide. Uh, not rush guide, but like raiding guide for team matches. Um, but anyway, uh, and also thank you guys on a more positive note. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we are this channel has uh, almost reached 700 subscribers. Uh, that's super awesome stuff. I've also been streaming more regularly now. Um, so if you want to catch me live and be able to ask, you know, come hang out with me and play some games, uh, either with me or just watch me. Um, Please, uh, uh, please go ahead and check out my Twitch uh, channel below. It'll be below in the video description. But uh, that's enough talking for me. Uh, thank you guys for the continued support. I'm really glad that I'm able to help you guys learn how to play this game better. Um, let's go ahead and get into a match. All right, guys. So here we are in game. And I was wishing, you know, perhaps for this uh, particular... Uh, guide video that it would put me on the front line because the the walling and base building that I want oh look that is a oh, can't even game wood line that so or berry line warehouse that excuse me I'm jumbling my words um I was hoping that they would put me on the front line because it so happens wow we got a lot of Chinese players this game because um, none of their names are showing up uh, but we have a lot of um, you know, a lot of players have been asking me, hey, you know, like, what do you do when you are the front line? Like, everyone comes after you. It's really hard to deal with the situation, um, so on and so forth. Like, um, I don't know what to do, don't know what to make, et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, what you, can, um, what you can do is you can do smart base building. And then typically some of the strategies that you're going to want to do... Um, you know, revolve around being good defensive strategies. So, you know, towering up, building archers, uh, so on and so forth. But what I'm going to show here is going to actually um, 
it, you know, we're, we are a little bit on the back line, but still kind of sort of front. If they're enemies here, I'm, I'm pretty exposed. So uh, we, we definitely want to get um, some good scouting done, get some, um, and then talk about doing some smart base building. So uh, already right off the bat, we have an iron here. Unfortunately, it um, doesn't look like there's any good place to build it or build our temple here because like of the hills, um, as we can see here, that's super ugly there. Uh, not a huge fan of that. Uh, but we'll, that'll be okay. Uh, let's just try to this disgusting building. Place. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start scouting around. Um, now, with smart base building, you want to spend more time uh, scouting with more villagers. Now, sometimes I actually do get the first shoes upgrade in this case, just because I want that extra speed. Um, if there are a lot of animals around, uh, the first shoes actually helps your villagers from um, not dying. Uh, because they uh, kind of get outside the aggress, uh, the enemy animals aggro range quicker. Um, so there are a few benefits to that, but typically you would rather just have the uh, the three extra villagers. Um, that's usually like kind of the best way to go about it. Now, um, I did place that house there. I, I would recommend you save most of your house building um, to the Bronze Age. Now we are going Asia, so I'm going to build all my houses um, in the Stone Age, all 16 if I can. But if uh, if you're Europe, you usually only want to build 10 and then um, to upgrade them because it's super expensive and you want to save all the wood that you can. Um, we're still getting really bad food. I'm going to put a lot more villagers in food just because we can't bury that, which is unfortunate. And we're getting this really... It's kind of a weird looking map, that's for sure. Um, on the bright side, we can definitely warehouse right here for our iron where the when the altar deletes itself. Um, that'll be good, but I'm still not really seeing all too many good places uh, to put our, um, our temple just yet. And I'm playing a little sloppy, forgetting to um, build houses. Now, it, you know, if you're really good at for, for planning, which, you know, I myself, you know, typically don't uh, really worry about uh, where I place my buildings yet. So, I'm, you know, still not like, I still myself have to get used to kind of like forward thinking and uh, being like, okay, well, if I put my temple here, this is kind of where I want my stuff. Now, that's going to be a dead villager. Um, unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Now, it's about time to place my temple, so uh, there's water right here, so I really don't want to be in the range of that. But also moving forward here is going to put me closer to the enemy. So these are the first kind of things you want to think about, is like, how can I put my temple in a place where it's not exposed so easily? Um, these are hills right here, so we can't really build on that. I like this spot, but honestly... <sighs> There's not really any good place to build. We're going to put it here. Um, I like that just because there's water here, but I have to assume that, you know, they would have to build a forward dock over here if there's a if there's an access point, um, so on and so forth. So we're not going to worry about that. Um, but on to the strategy guide, uh, which, again, we will be going East Asia, and we're going to be doing Ronin and Horse Archers. Now, um, you know, I've always said in the past that I prefer West Asian Horse Archers. Uh, I, that kind of has changed. If you can afford it, um, I really recommend getting East Asian Horse Archers because um, the reason is that the, the move and shoot is just fantastic. When I've been trying to defend um, against East Asian Horse Archers with regular West Asian Horse Archers, it's a nightmare because my West Asian Horse Archers, they have to stop and shoot, stop and shoot while the East Asian just keep running along. Uh, you know, I've had games where they would just take laps around my base uh, in private games particularly um, and it, it would just be a nightmare even with towers so uh, that was a problem and then Ronin you know I've, I've showcased them before but it turns out that they're a lot uh, better at raiding than I once thought just because their armor is so high and they actually do a decent amount of damage they're not going to be taking out like the headquarters or anything like that but you can wipe houses you can wipe villagers and they will just sit there and tank all day long and they're obviously pretty fast so uh they they are kind of like a weaker light knight but way faster and they attack faster so um you know a lot of good things to look forward there uh again now i'm sort of building um these houses i probably shouldn't have built there so you know what we're actually going to delete them it's me uh getting ahead of myself talking about other things uh but what we're going to do is we're going to start walling off here and that's just what we're going to do um you know what i'm going to keep actually i will keep these two alive just because i don't want to be deleting too many buildings um, but we're gonna do that keep training villagers 
almost done. Now, uh, this is a little bit atypical, obviously, because I literally couldn't warehouse my berries. Um, so I put 15 villagers off of food ASAP. Obviously, you would rather have those, um, you know, being used to something else. Um, and then what we're going to do here, that's all good. And then I'm honestly, I do want to delete these because... I want to put my poultry yard over here and we're going to talk about that. So when you can, you always kind of want to put your poultry yard or your farm if you're going Europe. Um, I like walling up as Europe even more just because your villagers are so much more valuable in the sense that maybe not only do they cost more, but it takes 20 seconds to repair them or rebuild them. Whereas Asia, it only takes 11 seconds as we can see here. So that... You don't want to lose any villagers as Europe. I mean, you don't want to really lose villagers ever, but if you're going to lose villagers, you'd rather lose them as Europe, uh, Asia. So that's something super important to keep track of. Um, I definitely prefer walling up over uh, as as Europe over Asia if you if you have to decide. Um, but honestly, I, I like walling up in general now. Um, but you just have to be smart about it. Um, and, and, and typically only wall up for team games. This is not something you would apply to your 1v1 strategy games. Um, that's... That's for sure. Now back to the thing here that we were talking about. Um, poultry yards, we want them to be close to the temple um, because it's easier to wall off. The temple is a, a, is a place you want to protect anyway. So inherently you're going to spend a lot less resources um, protecting your, uh, your farm villagers. Um, as opposed to having to like build a, a whole set of layer of defense elsewhere um, just to get that done. Uh, so now what I'm doing here simultaneously, sorry, we're kind of going at a fast pace um, and I forgot to upgrade that. So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna get the population upgrade. We'll just go ahead and deal with that. That's fine. Now that's all good. So now what I'm doing here is I'm building towers on, okay, that's ugly. We'll do a house right there, because I need another house, I believe. Yeah, we're at 12 houses, so we need to be at 16 for the full population. Um, but essentially, um, I'm walling off around here, and then I have to... And then I want to stop chopping wood here. Um, I'm going to stop chopping wood up there, just because... Don't need to deal with that. Why did you guys not build there? Come on. I have to build a new wall piece. Um, but towers are, uh, serve two purposes. One, they're damage dealers, but two, you can hide villagers in them. So that's why I all, even as Europe, you have to use them a little bit more sparingly because their towers are so expensive. But um, at the end of the day, and you know what? I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna dock here just because I want to be extra safe. But uh, we have two boars we need to deal with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our um, towers around our temple. I usually add three uh, just because again, if I'm keeping my poultry yard nearby, I need to be able to put villagers into there very quickly. Uh, they can also hide in there and then jump out and repair when need be. And then also I just want a lot of damage dealing around my temple. Um, but here we are. All right, so now we're just exposed up front. Um, but the, I'm building one or two towers out here as well, just so I can hide more villagers in here. Um, each tower here seats, uh, looks like eight. So if I have 23 villagers out here, I really should be doing a third tower just to be perfectly safe. But again, the more resources you're investing into towers, uh, the more costly that, the less like wood and food that you're using offensively speaking here. So this is kind of a long wall off point here, but I'm fine with that. Um, that's going to work out just fine. And then here we'll go ahead and we'll do a little wall there. And I'm not going to upgrade this tower until I get these two towers up. So once it starts targeting that, we'll be able to deal with it accordingly. We're going to go to the Iron Age. I am playing a little bit slow here. I should already have been in the Iron Age um, by now, but I'm obviously trying to talk and play. So uh, bear with me. I'm not obviously doing a perfect game here, um, but we've got plenty of resources. We're doing really well. You know, notice that pretty much for the most part, my temple's not stopped working. I do want to get a dock here going because uh, East Asia, their cavalry costs at every unit on honestly costs so much food it's just it's just insane um and then what we'll do here is we're gonna do that we're gonna wall you up oh i ex i said i wasn't gonna upgrade the tower to aggro um and what did i do i upgraded the tower great but these guys will run back now so i can oh you're gonna try to aggro on that all right go 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 finish that tower we need more damage um, 
so we're doing a little bit of walling here. Now, this is a choke point that I should probably send a villager around just to put through, but honestly, they have to walk all the way around. They're going to be under three towers, and that's just not going to be any good for them. Now, this strategy, this is, again, like, this is really, like, your best case scenario. Like, you're going to be doing... Oh, he got caught. Um, this is going to work really well, um, you know, if you're on the front line. And then you pair this up with, like, an archer strategy. This works, you know, for both Europe or Asia. You just, again, with Europe, you have to be more careful about your tower placement. Um, but these, this is really good. And, and the best thing you want to do is you want to take advantage of your choke points. So you really, wherever you can, you really just want to avoid um, long walls. Because, again, that's more resources. It's more time spent. Your villagers are spending building, so on and so forth. And then always check if there's a if there's a if there's a hole in your wall just by clicking outside. They're immediately going to path to the way out. So here it seems like he's going to walk around here, which I didn't even know he could do. So what we're going to do is we actually are going to do that. I can avoid the boars, so that's going to work out just fine. And they keep building, perfect. And now ideally here, I actually do want to like even do this per se, uh, but we'll actually do that with wall with houses oops and because i'm falling behind we're gonna go straight to east asia it's kind of fun i like the the strategy of the city building aspect like you know i used to i would never do it and um now i find myself enjoying it and then just for that little last bit we can do that I don't know why you stopped building. Go ahead, keep going, man, champ. Um, and then as far as villagers goes, um, in terms of the uh, cavalry, we want uh, probably like 25 villagers in the poultry yard. You even want two poultry yards with like maybe 15 on each, uh, just because you want two because it prevents all that clunking um, that like villagers will do. And then um, the other thing I wanted to say is that it will slow you down. I'm doing a bit more like aggressive with no military buildings because I'm not the front line. But you can start out uh, immediately when you get to the Bronze Age. Go ahead and build a stable and then research horsemen. And then build a barracks and get that spear upgrade uh, to affect the horseman's output, damage output. Oh, why are there so many evil animals over here? We're just going to kite this guy away so we can... Um, Go build there as we deserve to. Oh, and there's a boar over here. Classic. Nope. What? See, so he couldn't finish the house, and he's like, I'm going to go yeet a spear at that. I don't get that, man. Um, but here we go. So we've only invested seven towers, which is Asia is really not that bad. And, we, and like walls are not terribly expensive. So I'm pretty overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we are going to have to wall up right here because I think they can walk through. Yeah, we will do that um, again. Just always check. There's like there's always a hole. Fam famous uh, old tell 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 tale story is there. There is always a hole. Um, did they just walk through here? Yes, they did. So we're going to build a wall right there and just there for good measure. Cool. You can go down here and do that. Um, wow, we're going to need a lot more food. Uh, we don't need that much more iron anymore. Um, wood is going to be iffy, but we're going to go ahead and build a dock down here too. I really want to get some fishing ships going uh, just because I've neglected my food economy for quite some time. And we only are, we are only on 50 villagers. You usually want to be on 60. And because I forgot about everything else, I was saying um, as soon as you hit the Bronze Age and you are the front line, you want to make some military units just to help you even more. Uh, really, you want to rely mostly on your towers, right? But um, you do want to have some... Uh... Here, we'll actually go ahead and upgrade that. Still getting through. Still getting through here. Goodness. Are you just walking through? Oh, I see. Wait. Okay, what if I do that? Oh, you have to upgrade first, don't you? Okay, should be fine, hopefully. Alright, let's get these um, fishing ships going. 
Okay, um, sorry, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. Uh, you can uh, immediately, what you'll want to do, again, as I said, I'm repeating myself now, but you're going to build that stable, uh, at least one, right, as soon as you hit Bronze Age, and then what you're going to do is you're going to research the horsemen because it takes a while. I don't recommend building... Um, building uh, horse art bronze age horse archers i think those are really weak um not really worth your time uh but you'll build that horseman you'll build the barracks to get the damage upgrade from the spear and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the iron age uh quickly as normal and then you'll as you go to the iron age you'll build like five more stables so you have six of them they'll be pre-built for when you get to the medieval age uh but you can make horsemen to go raid um you really don't want to be fighting like head to head with like any army um, especially if you're on offense really you're just using them for that extra like uh, set of needed defense um, this is kind of an ugly map again just because of all the hills we can go ahead and delete this warehouse and then honestly I want to delete these uh, to these three houses again don't be doing this like again that's like why you got to be careful uh, don't just build willy-nilly but um, what I'm doing here is I'm building a barracks and an archery range and then what we're gonna want to do is one two three i want to build six stables four five um six stables oops there we go um so someone lost over on the enemy team so we are a-okay there i'm totally fine with that east asia also has better fishing ships so that like that's super nice um let's go ahead and get the population upgrade and then we're gonna have you guys start building these things i don't know if they can still get through but you know what if you're worried about it you just add another tower because you're paranoid like me and then let's go ahead and start upgrading building so this is going to be kind of annoying um, i'm just going to click a couple of them to get them out of my face but it doesn't look like we're going to have get that opportunity so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do boom very nice got that one stable done all right so next thing is the barracks and the archery range have to go because uh, you need those uh upgrades so i build one barracks one archery range we definitely want that done um you really don't need much iron anymore uh you can just have like a few guys um just set them on auto autopilot and the longer amount of time you spend um in the medieval age the more uh iron you're just going to stockpile slowly over time and then you can you don't even need to worry about upgrading these walls it's not required to go to the late medieval age and um yeah you just don't need to worry about it um unless you're getting attacked and you're like you know what i need that extra uh damage so um do with it what you will food's coming along nicely now we just need to get these stables up and again, um, 18 minutes in game, so uh, not like super fast, but obviously your allies are going to be fighting, and if you're on the front line, you'll have been fighting. So this is this is a fine timing. Um, you can see we didn't really sacrifice any time, and you would also get to this point, roughly speaking, um, had you built the stables, had you uh, done the other things um, in game. And then we're going to go ahead and add a few more villagers to food because I only have seven for some reason. And then the other thing you can do is you can start upgrading like selectively like certain towers and then always upgrade like the houses around your um, your temple first. Um, so like these six houses I'm going to upgrade but I'm not going to upgrade just yet because I'm still building stables. Actually well they're almost all done. So six stables. I actually kind of want eight so I wonder if we can delete this one then get away with that and then we can delete this warehouse because it's useless and then that one because it's useless and now we're going to train more villagers and add them to wood you guys can do that honestly we'll just delete the tower uh really avoid deleting buildings guys um i'm just doing this because i'm a nitpicky and then what we're going to do after that is we're going to have them build a couple of houses here and then you guys can go back to work on food, to be honest. Okay, cool. So, eight stables. There we go. Now we have to wait patiently for that queue. And in the meantime, we're just going to worry about improving our economy. Um, as you go, you think about going to late medieval age, you'll probably want to add a few more villagers onto iron and so forth. Um, all right, we can see here our allies are making a good push on the front line. 
Um, but we're just going to sit back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mix of units, uh, actually. I'm going to make a mix between Ronin and Horse Archers, because the Horse Archers are good DPS and can also just evade enemies all day long. And then the Ronin will be the building destroyers and the tanks. Uh, if I ever kind of have to make more of one, I will make more of Ronin. That's definitely going to be uh, my preferred uh, situation here. Uh, but anyway, let's see. All right, so we're, we're doing a pretty good job here now. We are going to run out of population space pretty quickly. Um, I want to avoid upgrade. Actually, I just I do want to upgrade because once we upgrade that last house, we're actually ready to go to late medieval age whenever we want. Um, but obviously, we're going to make more villagers first. So I'm going to keep putting them on wood and things like that. And then not to worry here, if I break through this wall or this forest here, which like I already did, I'm just going to add another tower here and upgrade these towers. And it's going to be even more painful for the opponent to push through now. Um, and again, this is why I'm adding more villagers to wood. Just because in general, as you keep uh, aging up, you're going to need more wood. Um, we got the upgrades and stuff, so that's all good. And these guys can keep getting wood, please. Upgrade that last house. I want to upgrade this tower. Probably need to remake some warehouses. Uh, but you know, okay, so like see this already, this base right here, um, and you know, you have to get creative, keep practicing it, because like even I, like I said, you know, I had to delete buildings and stuff, and obviously I was playing with like a very small space here that I kind of built around my choke points, and it was hilly, uh, so even, you know, here it's not the best situation, but we did just fine, um, and I forgot to keep building houses, so we're going to keep doing that. And hopefully none of these horse archers and units get stuck, because that would be really sad. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take that up there. So for example, stuck. And I'm not going to replace it, because honestly, seven's fine. Um, but okay, we're about ready. We're going to go do some raiding in a second here. I just need some more houses, please. Uh, let's get to that full 150 population. And if I really wanted to, I could expand my wall out here somewhere, but I don't really see a good place. It's super open, so... And, and here we have all of our military buildings, so that's pretty good. And the other thing is, even if they get through, that's why we have the towers where we have them, because, okay, well, you know what? We'll just shut our economy down for a little bit. It might force us to zero out. It might, uh, you know, kind of mess around with us, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because we're not losing the villagers. They're just safely hiding in their towers and staying pretty. Um, now if you get pretty, if you get like pretty much fully maxed out on this, uh, you're actually going to be able to almost like just kill players. You're going to like be able to completely wipe the board with them. We'll have to see how they do. Um, obviously players that spam towers are, uh, like crazy are going to be a bit of an issue, but, um, overall this is going to be, we're going to probably do a lot of damage here. So we can see I have 17 Ronin and 14 Oglon. We're going to go up here. Um, unfortunately you don't really have time to get the scouting up or the vision upgrade to see where TCs are. So that kind of sucks, um, but it just takes so long. And honestly, we actually have such a good economy now um, at 75 villagers and five fishing ships. So as soon as that's done, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now let's see what our allies are doing. So. Um, Again, as always, when you raid, you don't want to just go straight for the base. If the base is undefended, you know what, sure, why not? But mostly we're going for villager picks, and we just want to get as many villager kills as we can in the late game here, um, and especially as we tech up. Now, 24 minutes, I would love to already be almost late medieval in an ideal world, but... Uh, that this is just fine and the other thing about towers is always try to stick them behind buildings like here these towers are perfect because they're super hard to surround and they have like you know buildings in front of them uh this tower is pretty decent um just like put them in between buildings and such these are those are kind of the things that you want to be doing don't just stick your tower out in the middle of nowhere uh it's gonna die a lot faster so here we go this is what we're talking about um and you've probably seen this in my other horse archer guides but um this will be pretty good. Now, uh, no, I'm going to put my Oglon on a Sackprit control group here. So uh, these guys will be control 5, and then everyone will be control 4. And then honestly, if I really want to get fancy, I'm going to put the uh, Ronin on control 6. Because here's the thing. If I have all of them selected, and then I Q-click, that stops these guys. These guys don't move. They will just stop in place and start shooting. But obviously, we want them to be um, moving at all times. Uh, it doesn't make them any more inaccurate than they already are, so just keep them moving. 
Uh, you don't want any units like catching up to him like these guys. So like this is kind of where no need to fight them. Well, actually, so Ronin are pretty good tanky, and there's not that many. But if they those guys were tanky, then I would just run the Ronin off and like go do other things, and then we would um, just use the uh, horse archers to literally run circles around them and make sure you're shift clicking to just uh, queue up all that stuff. So yeah, this guy's been evil, great as he should be. It's pretty late in the game. And now we're just going to run uh, circles through this guy. So I'm going to take uh, control group 5. And these guys are just going to sit here and run in circles. I'm going to shift click a little circle around these guys. And they're just going to get mowed down. Simple as that. And then as you can see here, these are bronze houses. But um, in large numbers, the Ronin will, will power through uh, even medieval houses just fine. And let's be mindful of our economy. And this whole time, you can see we're stopping, stocking up a lot of great resources. And just destroying houses. We're going to wipe this guy. We're not going to finish him. Um, that's definitely not our goal. But we're going to make him hurt. And he's going to be uh, not doing anything for a really long time. But I actually, yeah, I, I was really surprised. You know, it's one thing that, you know, think units look one way on paper and they act another in reality. Um, that's for sure uh, a big thing. And to be honest, uh, I thought on paper these guys were okay when you think about it. It's like 11 uh, damage, but it is at one second, so that is 11 DPS. It's pretty good. Um, but overall, these guys are actually just, I mean, just between their speed and your ability to just cheaply make them, they are super food heavy. Uh, but if you get fishing ships out, food's not really going to be an issue. Or if you don't have fishing ships, um, just go for that two poultry yard, 15 and 15, and you'll be set. So anyway, this guy's like wiped essentially. So now we're just gonna go move on to the next guy, and we can, if we wanted to, we could keep uh, replacing the the horse as easily as we want. We have this whole queue of 14, 14 now. So even if it got completely wiped, we would be able to make it again instantly, um, resource providing. Now obviously, I don't have the scouting upgrade, so we are a little bit limited in that. I'm hoping we uh, run into a more medieval uh, setup base here. And it looks like the map pathing is going to be crappy again, boys. Um, we're going to have to run all the way down here and then through this main focal point. Um, uh, when you're using cav like this, always avoid going down the main path. Like this is where they want me to come. That's where their units are going to be. It's where their towers are going to be. Um, avoid that when you can. And our fishing ships are chugging along just nicely. Actually, did I lose fishing ships? Maybe I did. I'm pretty sure I had fishing ships out here. I don't like that. So in that case, as soon as we're going to go ahead and do this, and we're going to deal with this as we should, and we're going to build a nice tower over here. And we're going to go ahead and go to uh, IR. So OK, let's see. Um, they're down to four players now, so that's that's good. This is a dead player, so we're just going to move through. Horse archers will just keep firing on them. And now we're looking for opponents. So I don't really want to go for this guy because he seems to be walled off and has a lot of towers. But if we go up like in this direction, that will probably bode better for us. We're gonna. I want to make more fishing ships, man. I'm really annoyed that uh, these are dead. So we're also gonna get a second. There we go. We need more iron, right? I totally forgot about that. I said, as you think about going IR and late medieval, like get more iron. Um, that is something I did not do. So let's do that. These guys are already replaced. So you guys are going to go queue over here. We've got a ton of wood. So honestly, we're just going to do that. Okay, let's not um, forget about these guys. Because again, sitting there to Sarbaz is not how we want these guys to be used. All right, now let's see. A lot of housekeeping to do with the economy and you guys need more poultry yard work um, yeah you guys can go on iron as well iron right here and all right cool um, let's keep looking over here maybe the star baths were 
I was saying waypoint. Uh, yeah, the Sarbaz were over uh, kind of west, southwest. So, ah, here we go. Perfect. See, that's what I'm talking about. I knew he was going to be left because the Sarbaz were left. All right, so we're being chased by Axeman. No problem. Oh, found an entrance. And as you can see here, we're just going to completely ignore the towers. The Sarbaz are really the, the most worrisome, if anything. Um, we're just going to kill those elephants. We're going to keep the horse archers out of under fire. It's kind of taking damage for no reason. Although there's not really enough villager picks here going on that I'm happy to like take. I don't know where his economy is, but it doesn't really... Yeah, there we go. And now I'll just keep click. And you can hear the villagers dying like crazy. And we're just tanking. We don't care at all. Because at the end of the day, it takes so much time to replace villagers, even if you're Asia. Um, and he's smart. He's putting them in the tower. So, um, yeah, we got like... Like, look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like, that's like 10, 15 villager kills. And even as Asia, what, that's 110 seconds? That's two minutes of temple time that he has to spend. And looks like the RNG gods for map um, design are hurting us again. All right, so we got that balloon tower up. Looks like there's nothing going on, so I'm not entirely sure uh, what went wrong over here. I thought I built fishing ships. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Um, but obviously, um, once you also get fewer horses, uh, you're going to start running into, like, not being as, like, dangerous or critically effective. Although, oh, this guy's IR. So let's go attack an IR base. That's going to be a good thing to do. But we're 32 minutes in game. Everything's going well. And obviously, my iron situation could be a lot better because I neglected that. But let's see, how many do we have iron iron? I thought I built a third one. Did I not? Oh, you guys, for whatever reason, did not. Did I select? Yes, I did. And I selected you guys as well. Crazy. So obviously you can see here I have a stupid amount of wood and like no iron. So really what I should have done here is this stuff. Um, We'll put these guys on iron as well. We can put them all the way up here. And they're moving along nicely. Oh yeah, see? Cavalrymen, gotta be careful about that. Now, if he's got too many machine gun towers, that's gonna be a problem. But it doesn't look like he has anything back here. So we're gonna go ahead and snipe a couple of these little villagers. And this is what you'll see commonly. Um, opponents who kind of go quickly to IR do is they leave their base completely undefended. He actually has nothing to defend these tractors. This is going to be a disaster for him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're just going to target these tractors and finish them all. He's got nothing for it. I don't care. This is a beautiful trade. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, you know, this guy clearly got to IR way faster than us as we are not um, IR yet. But does it matter now? Because he lost all of his tractors. And we're still going to do more damage to him um, if we can get these finished off fast. Alright, and then we're gone. Just like that, he lost a ton of poor, poor, poor tractors. Did not deserve to die that way. See if I can snipe that villager. And we found him. Alright, so then we're gonna run over here. That's cool with me. Just wish we had more iron. Um Yeah, that's problematic. And the horse, yeah, that I was like, I saw the deer. Um, so here he comes. Now this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna um Honestly, to counter this, our own cab will be just fine. And let's build one more tower right here. Oh, I can't because I just upgraded. I 
I wish I was using my food to, uh... Alright, let's hide these villagers. I was wishing I was using my... I wish I was using my food to, um, actually, like... Um, upgrade villagers in my economy and stuff, but this is the way it's gotta be, huh? Oh, do you guys have to be upgraded to, in order to... I don't think he's gonna kill this fast enough, to be honest. And really, I can even add some of these samurai guys, even though they're completely unupgraded. But as you can see here, like, okay, great. He, you know, he didn't even attack these guys, so if I wanted to, I'd just run them to my tower as well. I wish I had something to like show how well how many like uh, villagers died, but I can't imagine like very many at all. Now, obviously, uh, I wish I had more fishing ships to keep uh, the food situation good, um, but this is fine. And I should have probably closed this gate just to force him to kind of like go around here even more. It wouldn't have really made much of a difference, but obviously, here we are. Uh, this is fine. And if I really need to, I can repair with my villagers, but I don't need to, so. Uh, not ideal, because uh, obviously we ha our economy is completely frozen right now, um, but as soon as we get it up, like, what we'll do here, actually, is we'll just upgrade um, the barracks here, because I want to get that uh, arsenal, and then we're going to make machine gun towers, and then we're not going to have to worry about this again. Um, it looks like they're quitting out, actually. So they're down to three. And look, there you go. We just stopped an IR attack. We and uh, we actually attacked him. And guess what happened to him? Well, he lost all of his tractors, which is a big blow to him. He was just sitting there in the back doing nothing. And you know what? We punished him for it. So uh, honestly, I think this is not a bad place to end the guy. Oh, and I did keep you guys alive, even. Um, well, that sucks. He's going to harass my iron more. Um, we need to get on iron, like, big time. Let's go back here. So these guys will go off of wood. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, we're going to upgrade a couple of these villagers here just so we can build a new warehouse. We're going to keep queuing chickens. And that should be set. So, um... There you have it. Like and like as you said, like look, uh, here my economy's you know doing just great. I actually didn't. Um, sorry about that. Uh, of course now I have mouse over it. Oh, don't get me, please. I'm gonna be a little annoyed if he goes if he finds these six villagers. Is he gonna pay attention? or Is he gonna run right through? Shh. No, don't touch him. Why do they do that? You guys are idiots. Anyway, um, <laughs> so as you can see, uh, we basically had a full huge, and I mean huge, 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 IR cavalry attack coming our way, and we didn't lose any villagers. Uh, maybe, what, three? A couple of these guys who I tried to send to this tower, but this tower had villagers in it, so it's like... Did we lose any? If he was a little bit smart, faster, like he would have gone over here and I would have lost a few as they had to walk over here. So that's why you kind of want to like, I should have built another tower over here. That would have been more ideal. Um, but now look at the situation he's in. He's got nothing going on of um, interest. I can just go ahead and build a nice little arsenal there. Uh, block off my um, temple even more, but like you look not a scratch. Even with medieval towers, you know, clearly this is a this is a great and beautiful setup here. Uh, didn't matter that he got through obviously the massive holes in my walls now because I've been chopping wood for days. Um, but as you can see, yeah, we didn't take any damage. So imagine you're being on the front line and you're not dealing with an IR unit that's rushing you as the medieval. Uh, you're going to crush anything. And it didn't really require that many towers. I mean, look at it. I only built nine towers at the end of the day. So, or 11 if you count these two. So obviously it does slow you a little bit down. You can't put as much aggressive pressure on. But the, the you know, I, my, I've, I've personally been dealing with a lot of uh, opponents just kind of rushing me um, with... Uh, Especially when they see, well, not anymore, but back in the day when they would see Watcho789, I feel like I had a target on my back a lot of the time. And um, because of that, uh, I would constantly get cavalry in my base. So uh, no fun. Um, here we are. Uh, for those of you guys who are frustrated with, um, you know, 
kind of getting overwhelmed on the front line, uh, this is going to help you. And like, as you can see here, this is not the way to do it. Terrible way. Uh, spends way too much time, way too easy, too many walls to poke. You, uh, you know, I barely spent any time uh, setting up this defense here. And as we can see, it's super cluttered. So if you actually have archers, this is an even better situation to be in. Having archers that are just kind of in these little choke points, it works even better better so you want the ultimate defense do this smart base building uh be smart about where you place your walls and towers and i'll start doing this you know in all of my videos uh moving forward because i think it's important to show and now that we have the arsenal range up here we're just going to upgrade these ones uh, these ones these towers um to medieval towers and i'm going to get around to doing my ir business and um normal run of things uh but that's gonna you know go ahead and end it for this guide it was able to do a little bit of raiding um wished i could show how well they tank under more medieval bases we did showcase it a little bit here um but you really can especially if you team up and two of you do this uh you're gonna be able to have just so much deep like you're just gonna flood an opponent um i wish i had you know saved the recordings of uh my uh sonic and i we were doing this in a team game the other day and just completely wiping bases in a private game um it was super fun stuff stuff so uh you know pair it up with your friends but even by yourself you know we we saw that we did a lot of damage with just one wave attack of it and we are, did not sacrifice any tech time at all like yes this guy got ir first but he didn't he was he just rushed ir he didn't do anything to help so um this is gonna be really good stuff um great stuff to try but all right, I'm rambling now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look forward to um, my next medic uh, guide coming out soon, that which a strategy which should work in your 1v1s as well. Um, so definitely try it out and look forward to that video. But um, thank you guys so much again for the continued support. And I also know that my camera, my mic quality is not the best, so I'm, I'm working on um, trying to gather money uh, for a quality mic. Um, they're about $150 to get a good one, $150 to $200. So um, that's kind of what I want to improve. That's the next uh, step in improving uh, the channel for you guys is getting a better mic. Um, obviously, just for me, money is a little bit tight right now because I got a brand new computer, which is super awesome. Um, and I can actually start editing videos now. So I will do uh, edits in the future. Um, I do want to talk about uh, doing like a... A new uh, Basics Guide 3.0, which, which I would love to do a whole series. I think if this channel hits... 1,000 subscribers. That's what I'll kick it off with. A brand new. It'll be some repeats, but I would love to basically, you know, break down what this game is and then take you through all the ages and separate videos um, as each faction as well with, you know, beautiful edits. It's going to be seamless, flawless. It's going to take hours of recording and editing and even more hours of editing, but um, that's something I would love to do in the future um, should we get that far. So, uh, you know, great stuff, great plans, um, and thank you all so much for supporting me um, in this. Now I've been AFK for a few minutes, so it is time for me to go. This has been Watcho789. I hope you all enjoyed.